these are our chicks. Welcome to the first ever post. I did make the trailer for this channel, and we were kind of debating. I asked my dad. So, I'm Ivory. Uh, I'm friends with Milo. We are both working on this channel together, giving you updates about our chickens and what's going on. So, these are our one to three week old chicks. They're getting big. The yellow ones are called the Orpingtons. Those are bigger. We only have two of them. But they are bigger because they are like about four to five days older than these other ones. Because we had like bad timing for buying chicks. So, yeah. We are working really hard on building this channel. So before we begin, if you could please like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to subscribe now. Just keep on watching and see how you like everything. So, sorry, had to cut off the video there. Someone is opening the door. Um, I would like to um, address that these are some of our chicks. Um, I have my two sisters that might be helping every once in a while coming to catch these chicks with me. Um, I'm gonna try and show you the names. So we just felt bad because they were originally living in this and we're like, not enough space, eight chicks, no. So in our trailer, you might have saw, if you even watched the trailer, our two full grown hens. Those are our only two surviving hens of the um, five we had and they died all either decapitated by a raccoon, eaten by a fox, or just taken away in the middle of the night out of the blue. They have run away a couple of times from water, so now we fill it up continuously. Um, and yeah, the chickens hang around the chicks a lot, try and figure out what they're doing here. So I want to show you each chick and what its name is. This one is Tsunami. She's one of our buff Orpingtons. My sister named her, so the unusual name comes from my sister. That is Tsunami. This is Brownie. As you can see, she looks like a brownie. Oh, sorry. One of the chicks escaped. This video will be cutting off again now. As you can see, I already caught my gorgeous chick. This is really like 15 seconds later. She was easy to catch. That one that I just put back in there, I believe, is ice cream. And then there's another one right over there in the corner, and she is Oreo. So the, the um, sorry, we have a Miss Dog Kennel. These gray ones right here, I'm gonna zoom in on them a little. Those are Brahmas. We don't know if they're gonna be light or not. That's the buff, one of the buff orphan tins hanging around the Brahmas. And we can't wait to learn what's going to happen. They get rowdy like this, try and steal food from each other that they find. I might have to get another piece of grass in there. Oh, and they're, they often steal food from each other. So yeah. We um, were a bit concerned about that. So. Yeah, those are our tricks. Just wanted to give you a little update. Hope you enjoy watching our chickies. And we'll hope for the best in raising them. All eight of them have survived right now. We, uh, we like to give them a nice enclosure. They're gonna beat that chick up, I'm telling you. Oh. Anyway, this is, oh, he ran away, but the one that the ones, here, let me see if I can catch him. That guy. That one before the chicks ran up on him. That guy, right there. He is who we believe 70% rooster. So that means he might be a rooster. He might not. We'll figure out if he lays in his order or not. Oh yes, carpet grass. Yes, they love this stuff. Let me just... Oh, is there going to be enough for all eight of them? Why do they love carpet grass? I'll go get some more. Okay. So I have my sisters. Um, they'll help out a lot often around my videos. Sometimes they won't be in the videos at all. Uh, the dog you saw on the trailer was our dog Lucy. Our friends were fostering her and then we got her. So that was a plus. We also have our dog Jupiter. 
Hughes, our original dog, did not foster. Found him in a place my dad had to build for his job. So yeah, um, we have a lot of history with animals. We had five chickens before these. There's the ones I addressed earlier. The um, chickens, we had five of and now there's only two left. We had a chicken before that that started this whole chicken loving fiasco. When we went to the peanut festival and my uncle won me a, leg, a comb leghorn. Now that's where the tradition began. I started loving chicks, wanted to learn everything about them, and then I figured out my friends have nine chicks. So we've been meeting up with them. Now they went from nine to 28 in two years. Or was it one year? I don't know, but that's, that's not a lot of time to build up that much of a flock. That's really cool. They built it up fast. So that is Milo who I'm talking about. She will be in most of the videos. Um, enough of me yakety yakadin. Let's get to the names of the chicks. Dang, they're fast. I can't ever catch them. And then they realize I need, I need Blizzard. Oh, he, he got out. I'm getting a ton oh. of this carpet grass for All right, him. can you catch Blizzard for me? Yeah. Over there. So I'm just going to keep on dropping this grass into their container that they seem to Let's see if they'll lower Blizzard in. Yeah, we're going to lower Blizzard in. But now I'm going to talk about the other chicks and their names. Oh, you go push the bag over there. Nope. Running away. Oh, there he is. Hi, bud. Are you running away? We need you for the camera. This is his first time being on camera. And we don't hold this one often because he's really fast. All right, here we go. This is the one we believe is a rooster. His name is Blizzard. My sister named him. Really lucky to have him. We want fertile eggs and we want him to protect the flock. Although his kind is supposed to be very docile, sweet, easygoing. So I don't know how that's going to end. We know he will protect the flock. Somehow, some way. If that's populating them with his fertilization. Or if that's fighting off foxes. We need every help we can get from the rooster. Even if he is me, he still has a place in our home. In our house. We do not keep these in our house, by the way. I'm out on the porch. We don't keep chickens indoors. My family doesn't believe they're domesticated animals that go indoors. We do believe they're farm animals. I'm not saying that they're any. This is Oreo. She's one of the Brahmas. We don't know how she's going to end out, light Brahma or not. So you'll figure that out in our journey with us. She's very beautiful. Furry feet. Yeah. Fast, too. Let me tell you, she's fast. Our chicks love the carpet grass. Yes, they love eating grass, leaves, seeds. They're very fruity type. Running low on feed, so we'll have to get some of that for them. And in uh, a different video, I'll address the names of all the chicks and how our farming is going to work. We've been really successful. Um, as you can see, we have some plants. This is the same day I made the trailer. So, plants already watered. You don't need to worry about that. Let's see if I can catch another chick to show you. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. So I just caught one. She's on a speckled Sussex named Brownie. They were supposed to give us two speckled Sussex, one Brahma. They ended us up giving us two female Brahmas, and apparently there was a cockerel mixed in with those hens. You know, nobody ever knows for sure happens. This is our Sussex Brownie. She's part of the Sunday group. It's her and the three Brahmas. Our Brahmas are Oreo, Ice Cream, Blizzard, and she is Brownie. So we call them the Sunday, the special Sunday group. Oh, uh, like, like an ice cream Sunday? We're not for sure that Blizzard is a Brahma. Yeah, we think he's a Brahma. Our friend did a scanner test on him. He should be a Brahma. We don't know. All we know is he's probably a rooster. And since he's probably a rooster, we don't know what breed he is. So. That was really odd, getting him out of where we got him. Hey, guys, don't pick all of Dad's carpet grass. He's been growing that. Why are you picking that? It's like we have one patch in our yard, and my dad obsesses over it. He loves carpet grass so much. And, like, now they're picking it, and I'm like... 
So, we also have Rhode Island Reds in here, which is supposed to be mean, so that might be difficult with how Brahmas will let other chicks beat them up. I know I've been talking for a while, about 10 minutes max, but hope this wasn't too boring. Let me show you our dog. This is Jupiter, the original dog. He's kind of skittish. Don't touch him in real life. He will nip. He's not aggressive or anything. He just doesn't do well around new people. Ain't that right, bud? That's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. We have a long history of animals and adopting them, finding them from places. Here, chick, 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 y'all over here. My dad taught them to go to that call, so they just come running up. Sorry, I don't have any food for y'all, nor water. Do you need me to get you some water? I think these gals are thirsty. Look at them breathing with their mouths open. Water it is, wow. We give them this dog bowl and we fill it up like, Ten times a day, so no, we're not being cruel in the amount of water supply they have. Oh, they followed me onto the deck. Girls, chickens, followed me on deck, no chicks out. They have tried to pick on the chicks before, so we don't usually let them near each other. This is the first time they've followed me anywhere. Now, you're going to have to... Yeah. Camera. It's good. I know. There we go. Nice, fresh, full water for them. It's okay, they can. So, yeah, that's that. The chicks and the chickens and the dogs are all in good shape. We have a cat. Sorry, she ran away three years ago and we think she died. So, anyway, thanks. Signing out from this video.